So Amazon has been busy updating their app. They have added blueprints, IFTTT, and they have made it to where you can add more than just your Echo devices to your account. Now I'm not going to try to cover all of that in this video. In this video, I'm just going to cover the add device section. Okay, so let's get started by going into the app. Once you get into the app, the three lines on the left will give you add device. You can also get to it at the bottom where it says devices, and then you can click the plus sign in the top right, which will give you the same option of add device. Once you get into add device, you will see that you can add an echo device, light, plug, switch, camera, locks, garage door, security system, hub, router, thermostat, vacuum cleaners, TV, speakers, headphones, oven, microwave oven, coffee maker, slow cooker, air freshener, printer, Christmas tree, development device, and other. So as you can see, Amazon has made it a whole lot easier for you to add these devices within the app. So let's go down the list and see what you have to do to get these things connected to your Amazon Echo device. Of course, you already know when you want to add an Echo device, you click on it, it's going to ask you which one you want to add, and then you just go to the procedure. If you want to add lights, then all you have to do is click on that one, find the brand that you have. Now, if your light is not on the list, then you can click other, and then it will take it to the process of trying to link that bulb to the manufacturer if they have skills available. But now at least you can see which light is compatible with your Echo device. Now one note before I move on. If you're trying to hook up these smart devices, you have to make sure you have at least one Echo Plus or the Echo Show. You need at least one Echo device that has the Smart Hub built in to set up these devices. Say you just bought some smart bulb from Ikea and you're trying to connect them to your Echo device. So all you have to do is click on Ikea and then it's going to walk you through the steps of how to connect those lights to So like it says here, one, you want to put the IKEA bulbs in pairing mode. And then after that, you want to press discover device. So once you press discover device at the bottom, after putting it in pairing mode, it's going to connect to your echo device. And then you should be able to control those lights using your voice to turn them on and off. And that goes for pretty much all the rest of the lights that you see on this list. Then you want to do it to anything else pretty much on this list. If you go to the plug, for instance, it's going to tell you to choose the plug. And then it's going to walk you through the instructions of how to connect that plug to your Amazon. So this one says so you need to download the app and then you want to follow the instructions. And then once you do that, you're going to connect the skills to your Amazon Echo device. And then she should be able to turn the plug on and off after that. So as you can see here, we got a nice list of plugs that you can purchase where she can control them. With this list that Amazon has provided, it gives you a kind of an idea where to start if you're looking to buy smart plugs that's compatible with your Echo device. So if we go down the list a little bit more, we got switches. Same thing here, you find a brand, click on Lutron. It's gonna tell you to download the app, follow the procedure, click continue and choose the brand at least you know which brand to buy now if your brand is not listed you can go down to other and then it's going to walk through the procedure of how to set that switch up if possible to your echo device but you can't go wrong if you buy one of the brands that's listed here and what else we got we got cameras so if you got the arlo camera the ring camera nest camera blink logitech and so forth it can control the cameras so now you'll know what brand of camera to get to make it show up on your Echo device or your Fire TV. Below the cameras, we got locks. So now you know which locks are compatible with your Echo device that you can lock or unlock the door with just your voice. Below the lock, we got garage door opener. So right now they only have one set of garage door opener, which is next. Now, even if your brand is not listed here, like I say, you can go to other and it's possible that you can find a skill that can still control the garage door opener that you have. Below the garage door, we got security system. So if you have Ring, ADT Pulse, ADT Control, Honeywell Home, a bulb like I have, Scout Alarm, and any other brand that you might have. So if you have any one of these brands listed here, now you have the capability to arm and disarm your system by just using your voice. Below the security system, you have hubs. So you have U-Hub, SmartThing Hub, 
Wink Hub, and Logitech Armony, just to name a few. Below the hub, you got Router. Right now, the only two brands that are listed here are TP-Link and Aero. But I'm pretty sure this will be updated over time because I know Netgear, for instance, have a skill that you can use to control their routers. Below the routers, we got Thermostat. Now, Google Nest used to be just Nest. And Echo B, then you have Honeywell Home, and you got Honeywell Total Connect, and the list goes on. And those are the most popular one that I just mentioned, but there's others on the list. Below the thermostat, we got vacuum cleaners. So right now, they got iRobot and UFI. Below the vacuum cleaner, we got TVs. Now, the TV, they got listed with a whole bunch of different stuff because Dish Network is not really a TV. It's a cable box, so it's listed here. And Logitech Armony is not a TV brand either. It's just a device that you can use to control your TV. Sony and LG is a TV. So I think they're trying to combine a lot of stuff right here. Now, I don't see the Samsung TV on this list, but I know they're probably going to add that soon because Samsung does have a skill that can control their TVs because I know that for a fact. Right below the TVs, we got speakers. So we got Sonos, we got Bose, Yamaha, and as you can see here, they have Samsung. Now my Samsung soundbar, I can control it through my Echo device. So I can mute and control the volume and power it on and off by just using my voice. Right after speakers, we got headphones. Now they don't have any brands listed here, but they show you how to actually set up your headphones with your Amazon. Right after the headphones, we're going into appliance. So the first thing on the list is oven. The only thing they got listed right now is the Amazon oven. Now I know I can use my voice to control my June oven. So hopefully that will be on the list in the future. After oven, we got microwave oven. So we got Amazon Basic and GE Appliance listed here. Right after microwave, we got coffee makers. So the only thing they have listed here is Hamilton Beach. On the coffee makers, we got slow cookers. The only thing they have listed on this list is Crock-Pot. Right after slow cooker, we have air freshener. The only brand they have listed right now is Area. After air freshener, we're getting into some interesting device here. And I'm talking about printers. So now you can connect your printer, I guess if it's compatible to your Echo device. And to make all that possible, the only thing your printer has to be is on the same Wi-Fi. Now I know all the popular brands probably be the compatible ones like Canon and HP, for instance. The next interesting item on this list is the Christmas tree. Now, if you click on that one, it's gonna take you in and the brand that's available for connection right now is Mr. Christmas tree. The next to last thing on this list is development device. Now, if you go into this one, it's gonna say connect your USI development device to of course, most common people are not going to use this one. And last on the list is other. So if your device is not in any of these categories, then you can try choosing other and connect it to your Amazon Echo device. All right. So that's a rundown of all the devices that you can currently add to your Amazon Echo device with the hub built in. So that means you have to have one of these devices that's listed here to make that all possible. All right. So that's going to be it for this video. In upcoming videos, I will cover the blueprints, the IFTTT, and some more of the other features that Amazon has been quietly sneaking into the Alexa app. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so you'll be notified when those videos get released. I want to thank you for taking the time for watching this video. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.